talk about E3 briefly. So for the second topic, we're going to talk about our top Nintendo E3 2017 desires. So these are this is not what we think is going to happen. I'm going to leave predictions and all this stuff for a separate segment we're going to do uh, the Monday before E3. Uh, so this is just going to be about what we want to happen. So why don't you go first? What would you like to happen for Nintendo at E3? Hmm. Game announcements, specific features, you know, what? I would like to see some sort of, I don't know, I don't know what they've announced and what they haven't, but um, I would definitely like to hopefully see, I know, I know. You've seen the game list several <laughs> times. I know I have. I. That's okay, it's okay. I'll let you know if it's something they've already announced. Yeah. Um, definitely like to see some sort of Odyssey something, which I'm guessing they're going to have. Mm-hmm. We've already but, talked about that. Yes, I know. On I, this I, very just, podcast. Yeah, you know. It's okay, yeah. Long week. Super Mario Odyssey is, yes. is going to be at E3. It's going to be playable on the show floor. So. That's awesome, because yep. that's what I would love to see the most, actually. Um, Actually, you know, they're talking about Mario still, the Mario and Rabbids, having some sort of video, even, of mm-hmm. that. Oh, to sure. just yeah, th- say, We don't well, know we for know sure. We know it's going to be at E3. We yes. just don't know for sure what we're going to see. Right. I'd like to see at least a video of it to see what the gameplay looks like and, mm-hmm. and what kind of get a feel for it, even though I think it's going to be awesome. I hope it's going to be awesome. Um, I had one other thing, but I can't remember what it was. Again, long week. But You want to see some of the Zelda DLC? Oh, yeah. Yes, definitely. Sometimes we forget that exactly. Like we bought it. Yeah, and right, yeah. Like they had the, the one thing where they announced, you know, the trial and like some of the things in the first pack, but... Um, haven't seen it, haven't really heard much about it. Yeah, I kind of completely forgot about it, actually. I still have so much of Breath of the Wild to even play it still, so... I think everybody does. Yeah. Even people who 100%ed it officially, technically there's more to do in the game than apparently what the 100% meter says. So <laughs> Really? Um, wow. Even if you've 100%ed it according to the game, guess what? There's still more to find, still more to do. <laughs> um, wow. That being said... Uh, Obviously, I want to see Zelda DLC. And not so much this first pack. We pretty much have an idea of what this first pack is now. Um, I don't really need to see anything of this first pack except for a release date. So I really want to see them say it's coming out now or it's coming out early July. Because they said summer. So yep. it, it's got to be coming soon. My guess is that probably, if I had to guess, if they're going to release it somewhere with E3. Maybe. Maybe. I don't. It, the only reason I say maybe is because Arms comes out on June sixteenth, so I don't know if they want to take attention away from Arms. True. So it could be an end of June. Very true. Actually. Like try to yeah. squeeze it between Arms and Splatoon two. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. Again, it doesn't really matter because it shouldn't affect sales per se. It really shouldn't because I think most people that want the DLC have already bought it. Yeah. But again, it, it's still one of those. I don't know what I don't know what Nintendo's thinking. Again, I can't make assumptions over what they're thinking. Right. Um. So, yes, but what I want to see from the DLC is that second pack. I want to see a teaser. Mm-hmm. The second pack is supposed to have a new dungeon, and it's supposed to have some new story. And I want a teaser for that. I Part of that's because I've already seen the conclusion of all the story elements, so, like, I just want to know what's next. But it also is part of, like, they knew this was coming, so this is something they planned for, which means it should fit in really nicely. Yeah. And when they say a new dungeon, I'm curious because... The only real dungeons in Breath of the Wild were the Divine Beast. I know some people will argue for the shrines. That's fine. They weren't officially called dungeons. They were shrines. And again, I guess the dungeons weren't called dungeons. They were called Divine Beasts, but whatever. Yeah. Just like sometimes they're called temples, sometimes they're called other things. Yeah. But Nintendo recognizes those as the four dungeons. So what I'm curious to see is what the heck's a fifth dungeon? Is there a fifth Divine Beast that we don't know about? What the heck is its role? Why didn't we hear about it? Yeah. Is there is it an actual dungeon like built into the world like a volcano dungeon or a forest dungeon? Like is it a is, is it one of those kind of dungeons and if it is, why is it here now? Mhm. Ooh. Uh, is there a new land? Yeah. Because there is definitely land beyond where you can go in Breath of the Wild. Yep. You, know, you see that mountain you can go there. Well, I saw a mountain I could not go to. Yeah, right. So, yeah. There maybe there's more. Uh, I'm thinking that there is because i know in the northernmost part of it if i fly off the edge 
even though there looks to be land on the map. There is, and there's animals and stuff, too. There's people <laughs> who along that, that little cutoff, like, they've actually flown and gotten as close as they can and just did, like, a long glide along, and you can see some animals and trees, and it's like... Yeah, but you go down and you die. There's stuff there. I mean, the easiest way for them to do this would have been surround everything with water as far as the eye can see, but no, no, they made it very obvious there is more land. Yes. Um, so, I don't want to see all of it, obviously, but some teases. Would be really cool if, Jesus. if there was like this underground network. That'd be awesome. <laughs> where it kind of goes through all the biomes. Sure, sure. Um, beyond, you know, I already know exactly. Like, I don't know exactly what they're gonna show D three, but I know you know some some things for certain. So, what I would like to see, since this is desired, is I want to see. I want to see a Metroid get announced. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. Mm-hmm. But I want to see a Metroid get announced. I don't. To be clear, and this is because it's most desired. Another thing I want to see is is whatever Retro Studios is working on, um, and and I think they're making a new IP, which is why I don't think we're going to see Metroid because I don't think Retro's. A lot of people think we're going to see it because that's what Retro Studios is working on. I don't think Retro Studios is working on a Metroid, and the, the big reason I say that is they have been working on a new game since they released Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, and one of the main guys behind Metroid in Japan was asked at last year's E3 about Metroid. And he said, well, if we had started, if, if we don't have any announcements for Metroid, and if we started making a Metroid right now, it would obviously be for Nintendo Switch, and it would be a few years out. Which, to me, meant they aren't making Metroid. Yeah. They had already been making a game for a couple of years, and if it ain't Metroid, then what it's something it? else. Um, it could be another Donkey Kong game, but I, I bet you it, it's a new IP. I bet you Nintendo said, look, we want you to create a Western-style something rpg adventure game um you know maybe maybe they want like a western shooter to complement splatoon Mm -hmm. i don't know like like whatever i I bet you retro studios have the reins taken off that they i think they've proven themselves enough that nintendo's like finally let's have let's have you make your own identity instead of working on stuff that we created in japan Mm -hmm. um so that's what i think I, i i desire to see a new Retro, uh, Retro Studios IP, Metroid to get announced, some sort of Metroid. Hopefully not like a Federation 4 style. I mean, like, even a 2D side scrolling Metroid, I'd even take that announcement. Um, Mother 3. I would like to see... I think they're going to talk about their online services, and we know for sure that they get, that there's some games that with it. I would like to see the very first game that comes out with that online service, the thing that would sell people day one when it launches. Mother 3 is the first game that you get with the service the first month. Yeah. I desire to see that so much. Yep. Not predicting it. That's just what I want to happen. Mm -hmm. I want to see them be like, look, you give us this little bit of money for a month and we give you Mother 3 worldwide. It's never been outside of Japan. Officially. Yeah. So that would be amazing for people who who are really into the Earthbound series. Um and it would show Nintendo really cares about some of those old IP. Even as the guy behind Earthbound said, does it make sense to make another one? Fine, don't make another one, but at least give us the ones you got. Yeah. Um, I would like to see just a personal desire. It's a little iffy because the Switch can't do it the way I want it to, but I want to see a Pokemon Snap announced. The problem yeah. is I wanted yeah. the, I wanted the Switch to do it kind of like what Pokemon Go does, where you go then you have like a VR world, but there's no cameras on the Switch, so it can't work that way. That sucks. Sure. So it does almost make it to me right now. Pokemon Snap, if they brought it back, would feel better as a mobile game. But I just want to see it back in some capacity. Like yeah, and this yeah. thing, oh, Pokemon no. Snap. I keep thinking of Pokemon Go. They could just make Pokemon Snap like they did back in the day. It's yeah. perfectly fine. They can make their virtual world where we go out and run a boat ride, run trains, run right, some that, right. taking pictures. Well, hey, at that's least fine. at least now you can go like this. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. So it's... like, I that that's a desire that I want to see them announce. I also desire greatly. To see a bunch of third-party games confirmed that I feel like should already be confirmed. I'd like to see Call of Duty World War II confirmed mm-hmm. for Switch. I would like to see uh, Bethesda committing some sort of game they have in the works to the system. Like a major game, not not a side dish. Mm-hmm. Not like what Ubisoft is doing in Mario and Rapids. And speaking of Ubisoft, I would love to see them announce that Assassin's Creed Origins is coming to Switch. Yep. I would like to see... Uh, and I know some people, oh, Assassin's Creed, Call of Duty. I'm like, popular franchises, man. If Nintendo can get them in portable form, that is a very attractive prospect to a lot of people. Oh, definitely. Um, 
you know, getting getting back into some Nintendo IP, I would love to see Nintendo announce F Zero and a Wave Race. Yeah. I know they're racing games. I know people can argue they compete with Mario Kart. Since Mario Kart has that one fast F Zero kind of level, you know why? Why should they have F Zero? Because it doesn't matter. The 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 fast racing Neo compete with Mario Kart? No, they're two totally different games. Yeah. And fast racing Neo is basically F Zero. It's just not F Zero. It's an indie game. Yeah. So they're proving that there's still a market for that. So Nintendo could actually bring back the game that basically was the foundation for that market. Yeah. I think that would be great. As long as they bring back the Death Spinner, too. Because they, I know they in the second one, they got rid of the Death Spinner, yeah. and it's kind of less no, fun okay. when you die. That's okay. I'm sure they'll bring it back. Um, and again, obviously, Wave Race, totally different from anything. You're you're racing, you know, out in the water. Yeah. You know, on jet skis. Lots and lots of fun. The waves and everything. It's just it's just a lot of fun. I, I would love to see them bring those games back. Uh, and, they you know, I, I could argue, basically, I want to see every Nintendo game under the sun. But one game I think I, I definitely want to see, not for this year, but I want to see them mention it's coming in 2018, Smash of some kind. Mm-hmm. Whether it's a brand new Smash game for Switch or whether it is a like deluxe combination, 3DS and Wii U port with extra stuff and characters um, get announced. Not for this year, because I think with Mario Kart and Super Mario Odyssey and Zelda all this year, I think they need to spread out a game like that, but for next year. And yep. in addition yep. to that, I would like to see them at least confirm. They don't have to confirm which games, but at least say that, that they are dedicated to bringing the best of the Wii U library to the Switch over the coming years. Mm-hmm. So, um, And they can even hint at things like, they're, they're, we're talking to Platinum Games, which would hint at The Wonderful 101 or Bayonetta 2, but not actually announce which one of those is coming or if both are coming. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. The Wind Waker HD and, you know, why the princess hd the switch isn't really going to do anything different with those but you could at least have them on that platform because right now if you sold your wii u you can't play those games they're right. not available right. anywhere else um unless they do some sort of online super mario 3d world i know some people are indifferent on that game but still like nintendo just dedicating themselves to bringing the best of the wii u over and i know some people will be like oh you know that's a cop out i'm like yes it is a cop out it's a cop out to the fact that Nintendo Switch is probably going to outsell the total lifetime sales of the Wii U in its first year. <laughs> so why wouldn't they want to bring the games that they already invested a bunch of money in already exist and are already absolutely fantastic over to a platform that people actually own? Right. <laughs> so and that's not saying. Keep in mind, I'm just talking about sales. I am not dissing the Wii U. I think the Wii U is actually a really great system. Just people didn't buy it. Yeah. So why would they not bring? Like games they invested money in high quality. Like Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze to me is the greatest 2D side scrolling platformer of all time. Period. End of story. You can argue any other game you want. I will highly respect your opinion, but you're wrong. <laughs> I'm kidding. Just for me, yeah. Tropical Freeze is the best. So why wouldn't I want that on Switch? In portable form. Come yep. on. Yeah. Who who wouldn't? What what Tropical Freeze fan doesn't want that? Oh, because I own a Wii U and don't own a Switch, so I want to. Nah, no, Switch people can't have my game. Who cares? Yeah, right. Maybe I should make a video about that, too. I talked about fanboys and console wars. I should probably also talk about people who feel this entitlement that their game shouldn't be on other platforms, because I think that's stupid. People who got upset that Mario Maker went to 3DS. People who got upset that, like, Yoshi went to 3DS, or that, like, 3DS games coming to Switch. It's like, it, who cares? Yeah. You have the game. It doesn't affect you. Right. I mean, I, I, get, I, I understand the argument. Oh, topic for another day. Have a another day. Yes. I'm, I'm actually glad that came up because I, I actually have a whole article I was working on that I might convert to a video about this. I just got to dig it up. Um, so that, that's kind of where I'm at, I guess, with Nintendo for my desires for E3. And last but not least, I want them to talk about Virtual Console. Yeah. It's been a long time coming. They're online. Everything they've stated about online, none of it talks about Virtual Console. So... What's happening with Virtual Console? It's clearly, if it does exist, it's not tied to your online mm-hmm. system. It's separate. It's its own thing. Uh, it feels... Let me put it this way. Almost the entire Neo Geo library of games is available on the eShop on Nintendo Switch. Yep. A non-Nintendo system and almost all its games through a partnership is on the eShop. But yet I can't buy any old Nintendo games. <laughs> I can buy all the Neo Geo games I want in the world. 
yeah. can't buy any of my GameCube or my N64 SNES. Um, so I would like to see them bring – just talk about it. <laughs> at least if you're yeah, not going right, to launch right, it this yeah. year, at least talk about – at least do this for me, Nintendo. Either say – Confirm that there is one or not. Yeah, basically just say if you're not going to do a virtual console – and you better have a damn good reason not to, because it's like you almost like you don't like money if you don't do it. Right. Um, then just say we're not going to be having virtual console on the system, so people could stop speculating and talking about it. Just kill our dreams and let us bitch. And then six months later, people will still be bitching, but whatever. Well, at least we'll be in a acceptance mode. Like, yeah. Okay, we don't get rid of your Wii U, don't get rid of your 3DS because you're not going to be able to get those games. Mm-hmm. Um, or if it does exist, you don't have to tell us how you're doing it. Like I would love for you to tell us, like I desire for you to be like, it's a subscription service for 10 bucks. Like Microsoft and PSN have like PlayStation has PSN. Xbox just launched their new thing. I forget what it's called. And you pay like 10 bucks a month and you get access to all these games. That's what I want Nintendo to do. But if they don't do that, cause they don't want to follow, you know, the standards of everybody they're, else. They're going to go archaic. <laughs> it's fine. Even if they just offer it the way they have, just at least announce it's going to exist. Yeah. It's kind of where I'm at with things. 